Hey, what's going on everybody? Mike here, AX Garage. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got another video on TJ's Integra Type S. And today we have a bunch of performance upgrades for this car here. And TJ himself is going to tell you guys a little bit more about them. All right, TJ, man, we got a whole lot of goodies on the table here and also right down the ground here. Where do we start, TJ? Okay, well, we got a lot to do, as you can see. Uh, but let's go ahead and start down here right in the front. Um, we go, went ahead and got the PRL intercooler. And um, I went ahead and sprayed the, the middle section black because that's pretty much what you're going to see when it's in the bumper. And I wanted to be a little bit more stealth. So I did that, um, you know, it was... It was uh, you know, easier to obtain the polished one than to get the black one right now, so we went with that and I just sprayed it. Um, and then uh, we'll move on over here. After the intercooler, what I did was I went and got um, HPS charge pipe kit here. Um, you know, they, they uh, are showing decent gains as, you know, from what they claim, so we're gonna go ahead and see what that does. It's a little bit bigger than the factory uh, piping. I believe it's a two and a half inch, um, and I believe the factory's like two and a quarter. So we'll see what that is, but it pretty much gets rid of all the rubber hoses and goes to the aluminum pipes. Uh, then we'll move over here. We got the PRL titanium turbo inlet, um, which this is a very nice piece, um, you know, upgrade from the stock one. It's very light, but it just really looks really good and it'll provide us with a little bit better flow. Uh, then we move on over here to the RV6 catted downpipe, ceramic coated, the whole nine. Um, this is very, very nice, um, very, very good quality build. Um, I also got their front pipe as well, same uh, ceramic coated. You know, I mean, just it just looks great. And then um, moving on over here is the uh, Ram Air Pro Ram intake kit. Um, this actually is pretty new. Um, you know, you can. It was on uh, DreamWork Automotive. Uh, Dream Automotive did like some dyno testing with it, and it actually showed some really good gains. And it's actually very affordable. So I went with this. Um, it is a Ram Air, so it's going to be a little more open. It's not an enclosed box, but I pretty much want it for the sound. But you know, if we get power from it, we get power from it. Why not? Uh, and then finally, we're going to put in this radium coolant expansion tank. Uh, we're gonna get rid of the OEM plastic tank, go with this nice billet tank here, uh, you know, make the engine bay a little spruced up and look a little nice and clean. Um, and then um, while we are installing the downpipe and all that, we are gonna end, put in this PRL billet uh, lower mount to keep the engine from, from rocking so much under, under load and, um, you know, see what we can do. I know we mix and match a bunch of parts here, different companies. Uh, so we've never really done it before, but we want, I wanted to see like, what if I mix different, you know, brands, different companies and see what can come together and, and see what kind of power we can make. And maybe I'll be making more than the Mike's blue one, you know? <laughs> Tia, first of all, I don't think you're going to beat me, but <laughs> regards to the fact, where do we start here? All right. Well, we are going to start with a complete tear down here. We're gonna take the bumper off, get the intercooler out. We'll take out the intake system, the turbo inlet, the charge pipe, the down pipe, the mid pipe, you know, get the lower mount out. We'll take everything down and then we'll just build our way back up. You know, I think we, we start with, you know, maybe throwing the intercooler on, building up the exhaust and, f and finishing it out with the whole intake system. Yeah. 
Ready? Okay. Woo. A lot of rocks in that thing, huh? So we pretty much got everything else on the bottom removed and now we're in the process of getting the front bumper out of the way. A couple of screws on each side and uh, we got a few clips on top and I should be able to pull the bumper right out. Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Oh, All right, so the bumper is out of the way. Next up, uh, we will start working on the intake system and also removing the stock turbo inlet right over here. And up next, we have the turbo inlet that we have to remove. We already got the harness out of the way. We got two more 12 millimeter hole in this bracket here and uh, two more 10 up front. And then the whole thing should slide right up. And with the turbo inlet out of the way, next up we're going to work on the downpipe. Just remove the primary O2 or the air fuel ratio sensor. And then we go ahead and remove the shields now. And hopefully none of those studs are frozen in there. All right, guys, so moment of truth right here. We are getting into these nuts here and the bow for the downpipe. 50% of the time, those things get stripped. And uh, let's, let's see how good of luck we have here. <laughs> Go ahead, TJ. And by the way, the motor is dead cold right now, too. So. Ah. 
I think we did okay on that one. Which one does it typically get stripped first? Is it the, the, the bolt one or the stud? It's the studs. So I think we got lucky on that one. Yeah, it's usually the studs that get stripped. Yeah. God. Those are tight. Okay, last one. <laughs> I guess we got a 50% on the good side. Okay. okay, here we go. Got it? Yep, got it. It tells you, how does the turbo sound? <laughs> so we got everything under the hood out of the way, including the downpipe mix up. We'll go ahead and remove the intercooler, and from there, we can put the new one on, stop building all the charge pipe all the way up to the car. There you go. There you go. So with the PRL intercooler, we actually have to relocate the uh, outside temperature sensor. Uh, we have to sort of trim this tap right off here so the intercooler can clear. And uh, all we're gonna do is relocate it to right over here. We're gonna drill a tiny hole where the clips can clip onto. Still get the perfect reading and uh, it's gonna look very OEM as well. Okay, so with a six and a half millimeter drill bit, clip right back on, just like OEM here there. Even the bottom? Yep. Okay. In the coolest is installed, mix up. Go ahead and work on the charge pipes over here. Comes with a new bracket to swap out with that one. So we all finished up on top, on the bottom here, we got two more charge pipes here, one there, and one right over here. All right, let me tighten that up there, it's the 10. And we got all the charge pipes installed. Next up, uh, install the rear motor mount.
And up next, we'll be working on the downpipe. Uh, we've taken off the secondary O2 sensor there. One good thing about the uh, RV6 downpipe is that you can uh, utilize the original factory shield. Take a look at the bracket they have here. Everything should transfer right over here. Hello there. <laughs> right. Let me know if you can grab it. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Down a little bit. Right there. Perfect. And for the hardware, we got ourselves some titanium hardware from Two Step Performance. Hey, up next, we're going to be installing the turbo inlet elbow right over here before the titanium portion get installed right there. Go. So the titanium inlet pipe is in, we got the battery in as well. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and build up the intake system right over here. And the program intakes are finished up though really nice along with the PRL titanium intake tube there. Next up, we're gonna get the car back up and uh, finish up with the front pipe. Yes, front then pipe. Then we can put a bumper back to get in the splash hill and uh, maybe we can do a, a startup.
All right, guys, so the last piece of the puzzle is in and take a look at all of this chrome stuff back here. <laughs> it looks almost like chrome, TJ. Yeah, right? <laughs> look how good this look. Wow. Got the mounts on the bottom there. TJ's wipe it down the front pipe here. Down pipe look real nice over here. And also we got a charge pipe on the side. And over here too. All right, links up. Let's go ahead and put the bumper back together, put a splash shield so we can do a start out. Look at that inner core. Let's hope it goes well. <laughs> wow, that sounds so good. <laughs> wow. All right, well, let's not get carried away. We got one more thing to finish. Let's go shove off, shove off the car and uh, let's finish up the, um, the corn tank and maybe we go for a test ride. That's right. All right, so we are finished up with all the bolt-ons and uh, we went for a nice test drive. Uh, we ended up having Fearable re-look at the map, give us an updated map. I sent some data in and we did a little data log and then um, he checked it over, sent us another map back and we're good to go with that. It's driving excellent. Uh, so finally, the last piece of the puzzle for now is this radium expansion tank. And uh, we're pretty much gonna get rid of the factory plastic one and put this nice billet aluminum expansion tank in and spruce up the engine bay a little bit. Oh, it's like an airline fitting, huh? Yeah, push lock. All right, so I got the, um, the two fittings here for the side glass installed. So that way, when I go to put this together, I can literally just put it together, slide that tube in and seal everything down. So before I do all that, I'm gonna go ahead and just for a little added extra safety here, I'm gonna put a little bit of Honda Bond, very thin coat around the edge of this here. So that way the gasket will have a nice seal on it, you know, just in case anything down the road happens and it starts to leak a little bit. This will ensure that it doesn't really leak. So uh, just a little added extra safety.
I know, different, I need uh, one, man. I need radio a, cap. like a radium one, you know? <laughs> or spoon sport, what do you say? I'm down for <laughs> any one. <I've laughs> if you have a spoon, I'll do that one. I think so. I gotta look. I think I have one. Okay, so I think uh, we are all done here. Uh, we'll get the car down from the lift here and then uh, let's go for a test drive and see how this car behave on the road. Guys, a little about you guys, but I kind of in love with TJ's cars right now. That intake sounds really, really good when it's on boost. I mean, what do you think so far, TJ? Oh, I love it, man. This thing is awesome. How's the performance though compared from before? Oh, uh, it's great. I mean, you don't feel the power dip down. You know, when you get up in the RPM, it just kind of keeps pulling. You know, so the power kind of leveled out a little bit more up top so it actually feels a lot better so I, uh, I like it I'll tell you I tell you guys what it can't be better than my car that's for sure <laughs> but uh, guys aside from that we'll wrap today's video up on the next video we got some brand new wheels for this car that's along right. with some suspension parts so you guys definitely don't want to miss make sure you guys hit the subscribe button give us a thumbs up and drop a comment below and let us know how we are doing I got TJ's there and my name is Mike thank you so much for watching and hope to see all of you guys again next week